Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to kind of make this uh, brief um, because in a lot of my videos I kind of go over on this and I kind of show why this works. So I don't want to get into that video. I just want to kind of give you the facts of the matter straight and quick. Um, basically what we're looking at is how do we determine, um, you know, for a graph, let's say it's an absolute value, right? Is it going to be solid or dashed? Um, if we're dealing with a linear equation, solid or dashed. If we're dealing with a quadratic, how do we know if it's solid or dashed? And obviously test points are a great method to always check you know, and see, but I think it's a lot of times a waste of time. Once you kind of get the idea and you understand the fact of using test points and how test points work, the easiest way to determine if it's going to be solid or dashed is based on the inequality symbol of your equation. And the difference between solid and dashed lines is solid means every single point, every single point that is on your equation makes your inequal or is on your graph makes your inequality true. That means if you plug in the x and y coordinates for every point that's on that equation, your inequality is going to be true. However, for all the points that are on a dashed graph, those points are not going to make the inequality true. You will have a false statement. So Whenever you have an inequality that starts with y, you know, or it's, it's y is less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, it's going to be a solid graph. Whenever you have one that's less than or greater than, it's going to be a dashed graph. Again, solid means that the points on the graph are a part of the solution. Dash means the points on the graph are not a part of the solution. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine if a line, boundary line, is going to be dashed or solid. Thanks.